Dr. Gilbert, in the, in the context of someone who's had acute pancreatitis, I often get asked by my patients, well, what should I do about my diet? What, for example, food and beverages should I be avoiding uh, to help prevent another attack and have a healthy lifestyle following an attack? So that's a very good question. What I tend to tell my patients is that depending on why they develop their pancreatitis, you know, I'm going to be telling them different things. When you have a patient that comes in with biliary pancreatitis because of a stone, I always tell the patients it's important to have a low-fat diet, healthy lifestyles. You know, it's not only good for your pancreas, but it's also good for your heart and the rest of your body. So healthy eating habits is extremely important. When you have patients with other conditions, for example, high triacylglycerides, you have to be very, very strict with the type of food that you are getting, exercise, it's extremely important, and most of these patients are going to need medications long term. So depending on why they had the pancreatitis to begin with, I'm gonna be answering the question in a different way. In general, very healthy eating habits, avoid alcohol as much as possible. And uh, I always try to convince them on how important it is to stop smoking not only because of the direct and indirect damage that it has to the pancreas, but also to the rest of the body. And usually I go over the risk of cancer, not only for the pancreas, but the lungs and so on. So I think convincing the patient to stop whatever they may be doing that we can control potentially, like heavy alcohol use and tobacco use, would potentially prevent another episode of pancreatitis. But again, it's very important in a patient that we know we can pinpoint why they develop the pancreatitis to begin with, to treat that underlying condition to prevent another episode. Yeah, I think you make a great point about really trying to individualize your recommendations. If someone's a very heavy alcohol user, for example, obviously you don't want them to drink alcohol. If it's someone who had a gallbladder problem which caused them to have pancreatitis, they don't need to stop alcohol obviously in moderation, moderation, but you really want to try to individualize this to every patient. And I think that's really important. Many of my patients complain that as soon as they're labeled with a diagnosis of acute pancreatitis, their doctor says, you can never have that glass of wine with dinner or never have that glass of champagne at the wedding. So I think it's very important that, as you said, treatment is individualized as far as what you recommended for lifestyle modifications.